channel. My name is Delilah Marai, and today we are going to try the Gel X Overlay Method. This is the completed look, so let's get started on my pre-prepped nails. I'm going to take these cute heart-shaped wipes and clean my nails up with a little bit of alcohol. Um, keep in mind, I have already soaked my nails and pushed my cuticles back prior to this uh, video, so wiping off anything left over is just my next step here. So I'm also going to go in with my ASP Bonder and lightly brush that onto each of my nails. Next, we are going to use a little bit of acetone here and etch the inside of the nail tips, so just to rough them up a little bit. You can also use an e-file here if that is your preference. Um, I'm definitely not a nail tech, so that's just the process that works for me, but you guys do what you feel comfortable with. All right, so now it's time to apply the nail glue. I'm using the Beatles brand. So I will add a good amount to the nail tip and then wipe the excess off at the end. The goal here is to apply the nail tip with a gap between the cuticle and the, the fake nail. Um, we're leaving a space here so that we can apply our overlay later on. Okay, so as you can see, I have left a small space here and we're gonna cure the nail for about 10 seconds. And this is ideally how I need all of my nails to look um, for me to apply my overlay. So I'm going to continue with the rest of my nails. Once the nails are cured, you can cut them down and shape them. So I will show you what that looks like on my right hand. And I just want a narrow shape, so I'm gonna file them down and I'll be right back. Now that everything is filed down, we are gonna go in with the star of the show, which will be the Builder Gel by Beatles. So this is what I'm going to use for my overlay. I like to start with a good amount of gel on my brush, and then I will lay it right in the center and moving it around with my brush to maneuver the gel and place it exactly where I want. The goal is to fill in that gap in between your cuticle and the fake nail. And so this will make it very seamless. The gel can be easily manipulated, so I didn't have a hard time with this at all. Also, if any gel gets on your skin, it's best to remove it from your skin immediately and then just try to keep the product on the nail only. And so this is gonna give us a natural apex and just a seamless nail finish. And so far, like it's, I'm loving it. It's really, really nice. Now once I like the look and I'm happy with it, I'm going to cure each nail one by one for a minimum of 30 to 60 seconds each.
So now that the overlay portion is completed and I love the way everything looks, I'm going in with a pretty color by ASP called Pink Whisper. And to get the desired shade, I'm gonna do two coats of this color and then use the Beatles top coat. So this is the final look. I love a good baby pink nude color. It's just my go-to. I love it so much. It's really my favorite. Um, the overlay process was simple to do. It was actually my first time doing it and I found it to be pretty simple. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you love it, if it was easy for you to follow along. And I will see you guys next Sunday for another video. Love y'all, bye.